In this video, I would like to show you how you can create a custom sticky bar template and use it on your website. First thing you want to do is to go to DV library and create a new section item. Click add new button and add anything for the layout name you would like. For example, my sticky bar. For the layout type, choose section. And there are two categories you want to put this sticky bar into. That's sticky bar, of course, and PHP template category. That's it, click submit query. We can now add content to this section. First, click insert columns and choose any section structure you would like. I'm going to choose this one and here you can add literally any content you want. I'm going to choose a text module and I'm going to add some example text. For example, this is an awesome sticky bar. Save and exit. And also I want to add some quick style to this section. Let's add this blue background and also I'm going to add some padding for example 20 pixels on each side of this sticky bar if you press this icon here you can also select tablet and smartphone and assign different values for the padding make sure to uh, that sticky bar looks good on all screen devices another thing you want to do is to allow your visitors to close the sticky bar and to do that you want to add the button for the button text I'm going to write X and I'm going to select advanced and for the class name add close underscore icon. Save and exit and update. Now let's go to Dividend Pro dashboard, select Team Builder and click WordPress Customizer. Toggle Dividend Pro settings and toggle sticky bar. And now in the drop down menu you are going to see the sticky bar that you just created make sure to select it and click publish button and there we go here's our sticky bar that doesn't look so awesome as it says however it obviously worked well and here's the close button if i click it the sticky bar is gone that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching